This wafer was cut apart for a scanning electron microscope cross-section to look at the edge to find out just what they could see for problems. For instance, the metal plugs aren't actually connecting from one metal layer up top down to the other metal layer going into the page. Another scanning electron microscope picture from the SEM lab that I didn't actually work in, but knew some friends that did. We've got a metal line up here, some tungsten plugs going down to other metal lines. Here's the one in question, uh, eventually the substrate of the wafer where the different transistors are. Another group did scans that were not destructive to the wafer. They would pump it down in vacuum and then they could scan on the top of the wafer and look for nasty defects like this one. Here are a few more examples of some defects. All the little tiny holes you see are for metal plugs that go through this glass layer that's an insulator between two metal lines and this is a big old oxide flake definitely not supposed to be there a few more crazy oxide flakes and a shadow left where one came loose before this picture was taken and just some crazy defect pictures now, some of these are little some of them are big old nasty defects a fun one just kind of hanging there. Some of the assorted pieces from the last video. SRAM right here, static random access memory. Got something that's got some logic in the middle of the chip and then uh, some little memory modules uh, at the left and right sides of the device. This guy is a DRAM, a dynamic RAM, and it's basically just one big memory chip. This one, I'm not sure. It's got some logic and some memory areas in it. And this one is a static RAM, an SRAM. So here's the fun one. At some point in this wafer's lifespan, it uh, got a little chip smacked out of the side of it. And it had a small crack that worked its way up the wafer and then spread its way along and went all the way down. And then it was discovered broken. Uh, it was found inside of a tool when the tool freaked out uh, that uh, it couldn't pick up the wafer anymore because it was broken in two pieces on either side. And now for a little bit of a closer look at uh, this particular wafer and see how much of a focus I can get or not. I like the little mirror effect. And that's about it for my collection of misspent youth as an engineer. And I sound like a Matrix character? Yeah. As you can see, we've had our eye on you for some time now, Mr. Anderson.